Welcome back to another episode of Ranking This Week's Top Trailers, the only show on the internet where we watch the trailers that launched this week and rank them in how good they were. God, how do we not have a million subs with an idea like that? Anyway, as usual, hit the subscribe button, stick with me throughout the video, and let me know how you ranked this week's trailers and how they compare to my ranking. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Are you listening? Oh, you know it's gonna be a good week. What do we got here? Death to humans. Oh, is that a cat? Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god, he's like a, a, a hoverboard and he's got like weapon. Oh, I can totally play this game. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love the cyberpunk look. The, the gameplay hack and slash mechanics look awesome. How have I not seen this game before? What is this? What is this? Wired Productions, I freaking love you. Gory Cuddly Carnage. All right, before we jump into my thoughts, I just want to give a quick shout out. Wired Productions, they might be the most underrated publisher of 2022. Um, they have launched such unique, awesome games and they support indie developers and God, that game just looks so cool. So shout out to Wired. Uh, who, who is, who's the developer on this? There we go, Angry Demon Studio. Shout out to you guys, this game looks awesome. I'd love to have these guys on the show, so let's just make a quick note. Thoughts on the trailer, blew me away. Uh, had no idea that this game was actually coming out. Uh, looks like a ton of fun. I grew up as like a Tony Hawk pro skater kid, and also I played Lord of the Rings, um, the hack and slash game, so this looks like it's right up my alley. Visually, the game is stunning. Uh, Trailer-wise, we are going to probably put this... Whew, do we go S-tier this early on in the video? I don't know if I can do it. Look, well, okay, okay. Gory, cuddly carnage, A-tier. But yeah, congratulations, Angry Demon and uh, Wired Productions. Can't wait to see more about your game. Next trailer. Rated M for Mature, so all the children watching, get out. Ooh, I know what this is. Crafting, striking distance. They are making Callisto Protocol. One of my most anticipated games. It's it's crazy to me, because Crafton uh, was involved with uh, PUBG. I mean, you look at the graphics of PUBG, and then you look at this, like, no, no gripe against PUBG developers, but this. Imagine a PUBG game like this. Now, clearly, this is, like, a lot of dead space horror. Um, oh, my God, dude. This the Visually, this game is beautiful. And what's cool is they're not trying to show you, like, cinematic. There's clearly gameplay footage in here that looks equally as impressive. Oh, dude, this game. Woo! Oh! I know who you are. I know what you did. I'm sorry. We got Jedi's just using force powers in the game. Let's freaking go! Oh, that crawler dude was like, oh, creeping me out. Can't keep running from what you've done. Now let's go finish this. Callisto Protocol, uh, we're probably going to get copyright claimed uh, for that audio because that's probably a very popular song. And since we're still rated in for Mature, fantastic fucking trailer. I cannot wait for that game. Uh, I think it launches a little later this year, like December time. And I'm definitely, that's a day one pickup for me and, and I'll be playing it. Uh, trailer wise, whoo! Like I don't think I could have been more excited about that game than I am now after watching that trailer. And you know what? Second trailer in, S tier. That's what we're doing. Callisto Protocol. I'm just shooting them off like a like a gunslinger this week. Callisto Protocol, S tier. Congratulations to the team. All right, what do we got next? We're jumping down from M to Teen. I'm getting very strong horror vibes. Nothing says abandoned hospital and flickering lights like a horror game. Hook. Is that the name of the name of the studio? Oh, 
This actually terrifies me. Like, one of the scariest things about The Walking Dead was, like, Rick Grimes waking up in the hospital to a zombie apocalypse. Uh, that genuinely scares me. A lot braver than I am, just literally walking out to the streets. <laughs> I think I would, like, weapon up before I go out. It's always your fault. Always crazy. the gamer's fault. Just blame the gamer, right? I'm digging the look of this. Like, for a horror game, I I'm not seeing a lot of combat. It looks like it's just, like, exploration and, and stealth. Which is something that I think is very key in a horror game. Like, especially, like, Alien Isolation. You don't have a weapon in that game. Like, you're literally just... Okay, so light kills the enemy. I guess what I'm looking for is, like, we haven't seen, like, a threat yet, right? Is it just, like, the things coming out of the wall? Like, that's what we gotta be concerned about? Nope! You, you spoke too soon. You spoke too soon. There's definitely a threat. It's like a Vecna Stranger Things thing. Okay, so that was Eden Gate, The Edge of Life. It's available right now. Didn't even know that game was out. Um, solid trailer. Like, uh, again, uh, if it's a horror game, I'm gonna play it. Maybe not right now, because I've got so many other things I gotta play, but eventually I will definitely get to playing that game. Trailer-wise, I, 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 it kind of was lacking a little bit of action. A little bit of, like, why am I scared? Why am I here? Eden Gate, The Edge of Life. We are going to say... See here. We're gonna give it a C tier. What is this? Someone died. <laughs> a fully simulated city overflowing with life. And crime. Mm. A case around every corner. Oh my God. Visually speaking, these graphics look dope. Like it, it's such a, um, simplistic block style minecraft look but i love the way this looks so it looks like you're solving mysteries interviewing people you're literally just paying a detective in a city oh but you get to break rules that's fun stealing data no 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 Act like it never happened. <laughs> Track down suspects. <laughs> okay, we got combat. All right. That mystery looks way too complicated for me. I've got ADD. I'd be looking at the wall and I'd be like, yeah, so this guy, um, I, how is he correlated? With, with this guy. All right, so Shadows of Doubt coming early 2023. Very cool looking game. Uh, dare I say, I haven't seen anything look like that. Um, the idea of being able to explore a city, be a detective, solve crimes. Hey, you know, if you failed Police Academy and, and you want to be a detective, uh, it's cool that that game exists. Uh, I definitely would like to see more, like interrogation wise, like what can we do? Like what's What's the depth of the gameplay? But overall, that trailer was solid. So we're gonna say B tier. And up next, we have Monster Hunters. No, that's not Monster Hunters. Oh, this is, um, yeah, Wild Hearts, EA's version of Monster Hunters. Evidence <laughs> over ancient ancestors' extraordinary technology. The Karakuri can be found across the Karakuri. land. Karakuri. Though they still worked when I was a child, it has been a long time since anyone. I, that's could pretty dope. The out. the cliff climbing, like if it's a truly open world and you can climb that anything, is. that could be a cool mechanic. Until you. Uh oh. We got some Doctor Strange magic going Harness on, huh? Nature's energy. Wield this ancient tech. Ooh. Unleash the power of the Karakuri and shape them into new forms. You got some like Fortnite mechanics going on in Monster Hunter. I imagine in time how you use these Karakuri will change. Yeah, I never um I'm not really like a Monster Hunter fan, but like, like the Karakuri itself 
I understand the appeal. And like the kimono, you must be ferocious. That's a dope looking monster, dude. It's like a King Kong made out of lava. Plan your hunt. Set your trap. So everybody has and traps bring like that. Down these giant beasts. Okay, that's that's kind of a cool mechanic, right? Like as a team, you gotta plan together of how you're gonna take this guy down. Um, I, I can get behind that. that. That looks pretty dope. Karakuri can be used for more than battle. They are your tools to travel with great speed. Gather resources. Build your skills. They what did I just see? Guide you as they once guided our ancestors. It's like a gigantic porcupine. Not be enough to bring down every beast. Don't mess with porcupines, man. They're vicious. Allies and together, tame a world gone wild. They had like an Avengers moment right there. It's like Steve on your left. I'm here to help you mess up this porcupine. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Wild Hearts. Uh, again, they got a brand new trailer coming out on December 8th at the Game Awards. EA and uh, Konimo Tecmo? Tecmo? Konimo Tecmo, something like that. All right, so initial thoughts on the trailer. It's a solid trailer. Uh, unfortunately, this is just one of those that like, I have zero interest in that game. I, I like linear style games. I, I don't like games that require me to grind much, which is ironic because I play Call of Duty, but um, the way that I game now, unfortunately now being a dad, I don't have time for these games that take like hundreds of hours to master. And that is kind of what I got from that. But either way, it it's a solid trailer. And even though it doesn't speak to me, I'm not gonna hold that against the trailer. So we're gonna say uh, Wild Hearts, the official gameplay trailer. Whew. Um, we're gonna move the list. We're gonna change some things real quick. So. We're gonna go ahead and put Wild Hearts in the B tier, which will move Shadow of Doubts to C, Eden Gate down to D, compared to Cuddly Carnage and Callisto. It didn't beat those two, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely put it in B tier. All right, we got two more trailers. Don't let me down. Woo! Okay. You can also die because of the cold, so the elements can kill you, much like real life. Two moons, so we're not on Earth. You can die of thirst. I'm getting very arc vibes from this game. You can die of hunger. Definitely an arc style of game. You can die from fall damage. You can die from dinosaurs. Oh my god, fall damage! <laughs> you can die from fighting. Ooh, look at those centipedes! Oh! What are you shooting? Oh! Oh! And get eaten alive. Great! Sounds like a lovely planet. Let's book our vacation there together. <laughs> are you brave enough? I probably not. Probably not. Uh, let's call it Star Sand. It's available right now for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. You know, it's ironic, you guys can't see this, but it's showing me the official trailer for Dune Awakening. Like, hey, you like this trailer? Check out the Dune Awakening trailer. That, that game did give me very Dune vibes, but um, Star Sand looks like a solid game. Uh, the monsters creeped me out more than I thought they would. Like, those like creepy centipede um, tremor looking monsters. So, pretty cool looking. I thought it was going to be in Egypt. The, 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 the pyramids threw me off, but again, I guess they're saying that, like, aliens built the pyramids. <laughs> um, whew. Okay, we're gonna, again, make another alteration to the list. We're gonna go ahead and put Star Sand in the C tier. That means we're moving Shadow down to D, and then Eating Gate down to F. All right, final trailer. Here we go. Nintendo Switch. Rocket League? Why does Rocket League have a trailer? This game has been out since, like... I s oh. Fortnite! Alright. Again, 
You guys can't hear the music, but they're playing really good music. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so there's... Rocket League cars. Uh, I'm sorry. What is this? Okay, I, I get the Fortnite cars in the game. I get the aesthetics, um, like the in-game um, uh, uh, currencies, the the backpacks, all that stuff. Totally get that. I'm just, okay, Fortnite Rocket League High Octane. Learn more. I'm probably gonna click that button because. I, I do need to know more about that. So I guess there's a Fortnite Rocket League crossover going on, which, neat. Um, where does that put that in the list? Yeah, um, skins, backpacks, I guess user-created content is what we saw, where they were driving the cars around and sniping each other. Okay. Um, this might upset some people. This might upset some people. I don't think that that's going to impact our list too heavily. I'm going to go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to move Eden Gate down to F, which is going to put Fortnite and Rocket League in E tier. Meaning that our final ranking goes down as S tier being Callisto Protocol, A tier being Gory Cuddly Carnage, B being Wild Hearts, C being Star Sand, the official console release trailer, D will be Shadow of Doubt, the official gameplay trailer, E will go down as the Fortnite and Rocket League Octane collab trailer, and then F of course will be Eden Gate, the Edge of Life. Again, another solid week of trailers, but uh, let me know in the comment section, did your list differ? from mine which of these games are you looking forward to and uh yeah we're gonna have to reach out to wired production because i want to get gory on uh, on the show